the Joe Rogan experience. Well, we were just talking about the uh, the Air Force admitting that their pilots had seen UFOs, and you were telling me you interviewed one of those yes, pilots. I interviewed Commander Fravor, and he was saying that this this chocolate is be my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's with an R, Fravor. Fra oh, Fravor. Fravor. Okay. Um, he was, I mean, he was one of the guys that actually went to, what, what is the word they do when they scramble and go to try to figure out what the fuck something is? But they, they monitored this thing. They saw it with their eyes. They saw it with their equipment. It was actively jamming the radar, whatever this thing was. It was shaped like a Tic Tac, and it moved so fast you couldn't track it with the human eye. They said it went from, th I think they said some some impossible number, like 60,000 feet down to 200 feet in less than a second. Like whatever you could track. You know, a radar right. does a blip, blip, mm -hmm. blip, blip. They don't know how fast it actually went. They just know it, it went this insane distance in less than a second, less than a, a radar jump. Like it's, it, and it would, it would they had observed them in that area without his knowledge, like other... Air Force pilots had observed them mm -hmm. and then had, you know, brought it up to the top of the food chain, but it wasn't something that got distributed to everybody until he saw it. When he saw it, he was like, what in the fuck am I looking at here? And they're like, well, yeah, we've been seeing these things. And this thing with no active propulsion system that you could recognize, there was nothing around, right. no fire coming out of it, nothing around, and it would just, just disappear, just take off at an insane race at speed and actively jamming the radar. So when I covered this on my show, I said, now, I've heard reports that pilots see this stuff all the time, but they never confirmed it. And my question was, why now? Why would the Air Force be confirming that they saw UFOs now? Because, th again, like there have been reports that pilots have seen this stuff forever. And I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm saying, why are they admitting it happened now? And then, of course, you see in this last uh, defense budget, they put in money for a space force. Mm. I think the money for the Space Force, though, isn't that because China is able to... That's China, what they say. Yeah, whatever China I mean, whatever they can do to make sure we want to spend more money, that's what they'll do. Hey, we saw a UFO. Hey, China. Hey, look over there. We got to spend more that's money. that's what it is? That's why they're admitting <laughs> yes. it? But Fravor, I guarantee you, isn't in that. No, no, I guarantee he saw it. No, no. That. They're just now... But before, they would say that's not true. They, oh, the the Air Force would go, we don't acknowledge that. And now they're going to acknowledge it. Right. You're probably right. There's probably something to that, that it's just about budgets. And that's... I, I just, I want to, I don't want to be that cynical when it comes to something like that. Really? That's cynical? Yeah. I want to think that. Come on, that's not cynical. That's no, two plus two. It is, you're right. But okay. it, it's also cynical that the only reason why they're telling us is because of budgets. Oh. It's both things. Yeah, okay. I, I, it is two plus, I mean, look, it's 100% is how they do it. If they need some sort of justification for expanding their reach or expanding their budget, they come up with some threats. Yeah. I would, I would. I'm close. I'm, I'm in the dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty I, th dumb. There's gaps in my knowledge that I can't believe. Oh, yeah. And well, neither of, our, neither of us are going to figure anything out. <laughs> right? <laughs> we're, not, we're not that guy that they're going to call on. If there's a real issue. We need Jimmy Dore. No, but no. that's the, but that's, see, that's the thing, Joe, about my whole show is that someone as dumb as me can see through this yes, stuff. I, yes. can pit the, I can put it together. Oh, we're going to admit that we have UFOs and now we're going to have a space bar. Okay, I, I can put that together. That's the whole thing. It's like, if I can do this, I know they can do this. They're just not doing it. I think the UFO thing is, uh, you know, I know you're probably right in terms of like one of the reasons why they released it. But I, I think there's also this when you get a bunch of like really credible people like that commander Fravor guy when you get actual data like radar you you actually can look at the video of the infrared infrared camera of them tracking that thing there's enough of those now that people are like well what the fuck is going on and if if you guys have all this money and all this equipment is this is this something that the chinese are doing or the russians are doing or is this something that you can't explain and i think we're in this area where there's so much information. People can get a hold of so many videos and so much stuff that they kind of have to start talking about it now. Okay. I, 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 you know, I, I see how they shut down conversations around the most innocuous of inquiries. So That's true, too. They can yeah. they shame pretty hard. Yeah. They, they, that, that's, pretty, that's true, too. But when you got a guy who's like a decorated pilot like Fravor, mm -hmm. and he's like, look, I'm, I don't have any other crazy stories in my past. Mm -hmm. like he's not a crazy guy. He's a right. pretty rock solid, general, all around American hero type guy. And he's like, look, I'll tell you what I fucking saw. And it's pretty crazy. <laughs>